What's up, Crypto Junkies? It's Jay, and welcome to a video where we're going to do an ICO review today. And we are going to talk about an upcoming project that I'm, uh, I'm excited about. It's called Origami, okay? And this project fits into one of the three categories that, that is my primary focus for this year. So ICOs, I don't think I'm going to go nuts on. I, I think throughout the whole year, I'll maybe do, you know, less than 10, I think, which is a, a, a very small amount, right? So portfolio percentage, 10 to 20%, okay? And the three areas that I'm focused on is AI, exchanges, anything around payment processing, okay? Which we've had some similar things come out in the payment processing space, but that's what Origami tackles, okay? It tackles marketplace, payment systems, and review systems within that, okay? So the best thing, the best example we have to go off of is Amazon and similar sites, and that's what I'll be talking about quite a bit. But there are similar projects that have a higher hard cap, and those were Ink Protocol and Origin. So just off the bat, this has a lower hard cap than both of those projects, okay? But anyways, we're gonna talk about the online marketplace piece, the payment piece, and the review platform issue. Here's the good thing about a review like this, and here's the benefit you guys get. You get all of my past experience from being, you know, running a digital publishing company. We did business on Amazon. I know people who run Amazon businesses right now where they fulfill off of Alibaba and they sell on Amazon, vice versa, eBay, and the whole gambit and game I've literally gotten to see from the very beginning. And what I mean by that is the game of how to get your shit to rank higher on these marketplaces, right? And that's where it gets into, and where I think Origami has a very unique piece is this review piece, okay? Which each one of these products that they have, these solutions are already working. They have their own website. Some of the websites I think could be a little, a little better, but they have their own website working product. It's really this section here on this site that I don't like, these, these three little slide-ins. I don't know why, I just don't really like them. But um, yeah, we're gonna talk about the review piece. The payment processing is gonna be huge in crypto in 2018, you guys already know that. And in Marketplace, now there is this, this thing that, I've, uh, that I, I say all the time and that is the simple fact that these already existing platforms that are out there, huge, right? Just big market players running the gambit on the entire market. They could, big underscore, could pivot into crypto. And one would assume that they would take over a large market share. But, in a big fat but, there is still a ton of room for a brand new player to come out with something better. And they would basically be leveraging the fact that and all the downsides of the existing platforms. And if the pain is enough in those platforms, you could see a successful overthrowing, okay? Now, there has to be some support behind it. There has to be a lot of money behind it. ICO is a great way to fundraise. It's basically a startup's way of fundraising now in the crypto space, okay? So these guys got a shot. There's a, a lot of different players that have a shot at really remaking the marketplace, okay? Because right now, let's agree that, well, I'm sure we could agree anyways, is that eBay and Amazon have the marketplace market pinned by the fucking nutsack, okay? And that sucks because while I do miss, you know, I'm in Asia, I miss my two-day shipping on Amazon Prime. Man, I miss that shit. But Amazon isn't perfect, you know? And there is a lot of, there is a lot of issues in the platform that predominantly are ignored because they can get away with it. All right, so the problems that they outlined uh, is the following, okay? The speed and cost by which online marketplaces are developed and run can be improved. Secondly, at the moment in time, at this moment in time, escrow payments are still very expensive and far from accepting cryptocurrency as payments. So the issue is that when you go to check out uh, on these different marketplaces and even just check out in general with fiat, it is a problem, especially the wire transfer escrow idea and concept. You know, we've, I've bought and sold businesses. I've had to escrow large payments, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is a big pain in the ass. Crypto does help with that. And it's way more transparent, okay? Which blockchain technology is actually getting widely accepted into just a transacting technology because of the transparency in it, okay? So we're, we're moving beyond what the initial use case was, which is great. And then lastly, the review process for online marketplaces contains several major flaws that must be addressed before marketplaces can truly be decentralized. Okay, here's the biggest problem. And this is where, again, I don't know if a lot of people know this. In Amazon, in the very beginning, it was so easy to game the system. We would go on um, these micro sites like 
there's other ones beyond Fiverr. I can't remember the name of them now because it's been years. But there was like these micro task networks that you could just drop into and for pennies, literally pennies, get people to go and like a Facebook thing or a Twitter thing, reshare it, do this, do that. They basically would complete a micro task, okay? And, you know, Fiverr now has stuff that's hundreds, thousands of dollars. But in the beginning, the site was the, it was the concept. Everything was five bucks, okay? And so you could go and get reviews done, video reviews, like really nice, well done stuff, okay? And get those to bump up your listing because the algos on Amazon in the beginning were really, really basic. Like whoever had the most likes or comments or reviews, it was like a combination of like two or three variables and factors that would put you at the top of the search results. So if I went and searched, let's say, you know, best doghouse or doghouse on Amazon, it was really easy to game that. That's not really decentralized, is it, okay? Their whole review platform has baked in it a way to confirm the, the review and to really make sure that the, the review is unbiased and, uh, and pure, I guess would be the best way to put it. So the whole game with bots and paid reviews and faking it and automated scripts, that has no place in a, even just in a technology like the origami review piece, okay? <clears throat> and I, I, that's why I like it because overall, what it does is it, it really, it rubs off their bias onto you and gets you to buy something that might not be the best choice. Okay, just because it has the most reviews, it might not be the best option, but that's not gonna stop somebody from buying that, that doghouse, is it? No, because it happened to be the first result. Oh my gosh, 5,000 reviews, it's four and a half star. Like, come on, Jay, why wouldn't you buy that, right? <clears throat> and so with a system like this that's blockchain-based, well, just read it for yourself on the screen. Unbiased system with the use of uh, Ethereum blockchain, no fake reviews, moderation is transparent and open. Connected to Oracle, Chainlink easily connects the origami review smart contracts and critical external data from carriers and other data feeds. So this is going to pipe into the shipping components and the carriers and be able to track that piece using Chainlink. And all of that's tied in and integrated. It leaves you with what appears to be a much more unbiased uh, review, okay? Seamless integration as well. Everything that they have going right now uh, is able to be integrated into these different platforms. So this piece, you know, marketplaces will integrate the review system through our API without worrying about underlying smart contract and blockchain integration. So if we're able to tie into this whole thing with API access, it makes it incredibly easy. And we can tie that into what we're already doing as a marketplace, okay? Rewards, the customer's rewarded with ORI when its review is validated. Uh, he can use ORI to buy products with origami payment, okay? So let's take just a quick step back here. The ORI coin itself is gonna be used in the entire ecosystem, which the ecosystem is comprised of multiple sub ecosystems, which are these entire marketplaces that will go and get launched on the origami network using the marketplace, the payment gateway, and the review system. So imagine all these just being API integration and some, some backend dev integration into these entire marketplaces. That's where the ORI coin comes in. That's where its use case comes in, its value comes in. And then uh, it will hold its own value. So you'll be able to shop on these sites and check out with the ORI coin. What blows my mind is that for the almost the tail end of the first quarter, we really don't have a lot of this happening right now. And we should have a lot more by now, I just would assume. And so anyways, the review system is built for marketplaces. So what they did is they took three big pieces that predominantly are broken. They might not be the biggest player in the marketplace piece or the payment gateway because we already know there's a ton of other players on that block. But all three of these together, seamlessly integrating and it being a massive advantage for you to run all of these you know, on the orga uh, origami network together, it might be enough to sway the marketplace that's got other options to just use this one, okay? And I like that. So uh, Oracle use cases, let's, uh, let's just quickly go through this. Review at the right time, the system will ask 
to the customer for writing a review only when the order is actually delivered. So it'll track the transaction. Once the order is completed, then the review process kicks in, the automated emails, come back, leave a review, et cetera, et cetera, all that kicks in. Add contextual information to the review. Contextual information will be added to the review, like the delay of delivery. Any delay delivered early, whatever it might be, um, delivered you know, broken, damaged, perfect, all of that will be integrated as well into the review component, okay? There's a full white paper, which I'll link underneath the video, and then there's the one pager, which is what I've been working off of to bring this to you so far. Let's actually go to the main site. Do I have that up? Yes, I do. Okay. Go to the main site here. <laughs> I'm clicking all over the place. All the way to the top, because I read this like five times to let it really sink in as I've been reviewing this and, uh, and checking it out. Also, too, to let you know, the... Um, the platform is open right now. There are projects existing, marketplaces that exist, and the tokens are for sale right now. So it's fully up and running. The sale is live and it's rolling and kicking, okay? You can get to the white paper from the main site. It's just ori.network and that's this. It's your typical white paper, really, really breaks down all the pieces if you want specific details on how any of the API integrations will work. Uh, more detailed information on the review piece you can go in here and absolutely read that, how it's gonna, inter uh, how it's gonna work and integrate with Chainlink as well. But you can get an idea of this uh, right here. So Carrier APIs will be linked up with uh, Chainlink and then the review app itself will then be able to disseminate and push that information along and bring those actual reviews to the network itself, okay? So yeah, I think it's an incredibly easy way to do it similar to what we've got now with Amazon, but all the shipping information is missing and a lot of the transparency in the review itself is missing. Like just because I leave a review on Amazon, I don't necessarily have to have purchased it. And that's the biggest problem with Amazon right now. Let's talk about the marketplace. This is basically an all-in-one platform. Got API integration, modular based. It's gonna be built on the best code framework that you could possibly build on and it already integrates into other existing tools, and that's important. So here's a breakdown of the, uh, the origami network uh, against, I guess you could say, a traditional platform, which is Amazon, or they compare it to Airbnb. I believe with Airbnb, you actually have to have rented the place to leave a review. It's been a while since I used Airbnb, probably like two years, yeah. So that might've changed, but here's some of the big tall tale things and differences. Network model decentralized, supported by the users, owned and regulated by a third party. Direct payment by cryptocurrencies with the origami payment and offers uh, low fees and is fast transacting. Personal information is required and can be hacked and stolen. This is stored to a degree on every single one of these platforms, Amazon, even though we haven't heard of a big hack happening and critical data being stolen out of Amazon, it's still a risk that we all run, okay? Payments are instant and don't require any intermediary. Payments go through third-party financial services with high fees. So this is the credit card processing process, okay, that we all have to deal with. And this is pretty commonplace. But think back to when the internet was kind of first starting, and even in its early days, nobody wanted to transact on the internet. It's really just like this last three to four years, maybe five years, that like, oh, let me just bust out my credit card and pay for this shit online. Like, we're not even, we're just assuming that every site has HTTPS or has a SSL cert on it now. There's so many assumptions that we make now. And it's, it's like almost unheard of to think back to when we didn't accept this. But with cryptocurrency and the jump we're about to make, there will be a time when we're like, oh my God, you're paying with a credit card with fiat? Like, are you stupid? And it, we're going to be like making fun of each other in the same way that we, we do with the new paradigm versus the old one. Validation by network prevents security problems. Charges a percentage of every transaction. Example, Amazon charges 15%-ish. Yeah, okay, let's see. Smart contracts are unbreakable and executed automatically, must comply with terms set by the third party. Sometimes these terms really suck and nobody ever reads them. Origami reviews will decentralize reviews, uh, review and review management and improve the reputation management system of sellers on any marketplace. Obviously, we've talked about it. Fake reviews, manipulated, uh, deleting negative reviews, all that sort of thing is a reality, okay? So the team itself behind Origami have been working on this, and it's been running since 2017. Now, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of ICOs like, make it seem like they've been out there working on this thing for 10, 20 years, but these guys actually have been 
um, working at this thing. And the history is all there ready for you on their LinkedIn profiles. You can Google search these guys and all that has breadcrumbs, okay, and is searchable. Uh, the three co-founders are entrepreneurs since 2012 and worked dur during five years in the trading and financial area, backed by two French banks, EPI France and CIC, which is the sixth largest uh, bank in France. I will say too that all of the existing marketplaces are French marketplaces. I can't wait. I'm going to give some, I'm going to end this video with some advice for them and really some, some plays that I would do from a marketing standpoint. But they have a proven track record. They already have customers using the platform. The marketplaces are out there working. Some of them are getting hundreds of thousands of visitors every single month, which that is equating to people buying stuff and a real business operating. So it's impressive to see that even though it's on a small scale, I think there's three or four, it is out there running. And we all know that there's huge potential in the online marketing, uh, online marketplace space, okay? according to their data, a trillion in 2016. So those are the three big components that they've got. I, I wanna briefly touch on the payment piece, okay, because I haven't touched on that yet. Origami Payment is a decentralized payment system powered by Ethereum blockchain and ORI, an ERC-20 compatible token. This payment system enhances the buying and selling process with decentralized escrow for secure payments, third-party dispute resolution, and low transaction costs. So here's how it would basically look. New transaction, the origami payment app takes it. It's in escrow smart contract, cash back, because there's cash back rewards to all buyers who use the origami uh, payment platform. So that's another benefit is there's this baked in cash back uh, piece, okay? From there, the funds are released after the conditions are met to the seller, okay? So it's taking that, this is really like the old school escrow way of doing things, and it's just decentralizing it and putting it on blockchain essentially. So I like it, and the biggest, I guess the biggest benefit here would be the, the transaction costs and overall time. I would definitely say the overall time. So each one of their, uh, let's call them solutions or products are broken down, easy to follow, and you can get a full breakdown in the actual, in the actual white paper, including process flow or workflows, okay? Here's some breakdown of use cases, but I wanted to talk about the projects really, really quick. Here's the... How many was it? It was four. Okay, two are coming. That's what it was. The upcoming projects, you could go and check out these marketplaces yourself. You can go on alexia.com and back check their actual stats. Uh, I don't know why they'd lie about this because it's pretty easy to find out, but you could absolutely go and back check the data of these sites when they were launched. You could check out DNS and who is information. I didn't bother doing that. So if you want to, feel free. Check out the DNS, check out the monthly hits and visitors, the history, okay? But the sites are good. The sites are very good looking sites. Yeah, they are in French, so you can translate them. But uh, here's an example of what the actual product pages look like. They've taken, they've taken designs and themes that they know work. These are like the, the Shopify style uh, layouts that absolutely work, okay? And they've put them, put them into play. All right, so marketplaces are already up and flowing. People are buying stuff. <laughs> Uh, more than 5,000 sellers on this platform, 50 sellers on this one. They got a couple more projects coming up. Benefits of the token, there's the, the no payment fees, there's a cash back piece. There, you're able to use this in a growing uh, economy of marketplaces because as this thing launches and as it gets more popular, they will be able to pull on successfully thousands of marketplaces in all kinds of niches. And so that is where the value, that's where I think 99% of people will see the value is just being able to use it on the marketplace, just being a user of it. And then there's those like you and me who see the value in the underlying technology. And so they're bringing all their, as they get more marketplaces to set up and start from, from the ground up and from scratch, they'll also be able to get marketplaces to convert, excuse me, to convert to using their platforms and those user bases will come along with it. Okay. So the crowd sale, like I said, is going on already. It started, uh, okay, it started back here. We had the pre-sale February 13th. Crowd sale started the 23rd. That was the same time that the very first bonus kicked in. March 2nd, we just basically passed this 5% bonus. We're in this one right now. No more bonuses, and the crowd sale ends on the 23rd. Bonuses are great, but I, I'm excited to just get involved in projects like this, okay, that I think have some serious legs. Here's the breakdown of the... Uh, 
of the actual total token supply hard cap. Like I said, it has a lower hard cap than, than a couple similar projects to this that are out there that already went through ICO. If you missed out on those, get in on this one. If there's something specifically that you like about, about this project, then you know absolutely that's why you're watching this video. They're looking to hire some new people too. So if you've got these skill sets and you believe in this project, then absolutely this I think would be a smart play for you to get involved. And overall, I just wanna say that the thing with ICOs is that you, these projects you got to get a little bit passionate about there's so many ICOs happening and I try to stick to projects within the wheelhouse of overall economic growth and overall direction that I see like exchanges AI technology and in this which is payment gateway marketplace uh, technology that's the next one those are all I think gonna pop this year right and there will be hundreds of these that are successful, right? And, you know, maybe dozens that last, maybe a couple dozen that end up making it through that first two to five year period. But overall, get passionate about the, the ICO projects that you're involved in, you know, just because there are so many. So here's the roadmap that you can check out as well. Like I said, they started in the second quarter of 2017. Some of the uh, marketplace sites have been running for quite a while. First development on the origami payment started this year, it started this first quarter. Okay, so what they wanna do is they wanna roll out the payment on testnet, uh, the second quarter, the review uh, on development as well, third quarter, will be a uh, main rollout of the payment piece, or the payment product, and then the uh, origami review onto the testnet, and then fourth quarter, they plan on having all of the uh, products rolled out, okay? So by the end of the year, that's a good roadmap. That's a really, really good roadmap because there's a lot they can accomplish between now and then. And I think one of the biggest things that they can accomplish, and this is where I kind of give them some marketing advice, would be I would go after existing marketplaces that you could easily pivot into this, uh, your solution. And what I mean by that is get them, uh, get uh, marketplaces that already have a social following, that already have a community around them, and either create a very easy way to like migrate somebody over from Shopify to this platform. Again, I don't know what happens on the back end. I don't know how hard that is. Find a way to make that easy. Make it seem like they don't have to do anything at all. And you'll get more people to swap because there are so many like, uh, YouTube communities and social media commun uh, communities that are around, based around like influencers that they don't really care as long as they're giving their, their users a great user experience. The, and you know, if you were to go to them and, and obviously we've got a solution with origami that will be lower fees, the review system will be cleaner and they'll be able to kind of get rolled into this bigger community, that would be all win, 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 win situation for them. And so a lot of those guys will jump because they don't really have loyalty to Shopify. They don't really care. They want the best solution for their users, which this to me is a much better solution than a lot of what they have, like the Magento shopping carts, the Shopify, just hosting uh, merch and stuff on uh, Teespring and viral style. This, this is who I'd be going after if I was on the marketing team of Origami. I would create and just and just work with one platform. It'd be Shopify to start. Create an easy way to migrate those people over and just start going out and cold contacting and maybe even through your warm network already in France. Uh, start to migrate some of those people over. And then as you get more of those people to move over, really just the first couple, you can leverage that and use that to get more and more and more. Get them to talk about it in some of their vlogs or some of their videos. And before you know it, boom, it's hitting critical mass, it's hitting that tipping point, and you've got a huge user base ready for this thing, chomping at the bit for when everything's done at the end of 2018. But that's, that's the key relationships I'd be looking to build now. So it looks like the marketplace has done enough for them to have already rolled out these two right here. If they can do that and actually get these guys up and running on a small scale, you know, one, one at a time, do it. Otherwise, build the relationship, take the time, and get them ready for when you do roll it out later this year. Again, I don't know what the circumstance is with these two existing marketplaces, but um, that's where my mind would be at, and that's what I'd be looking to do. They've got, uh, they've got all the goodies. They've got the Telegram conversation dialogue happening in there all day long little FAQ at the bottom but overall the sites are really easy to digest the white paper yeah it's got that typical 
technical over flare overview and uh, it's still broken down in a way that you can understand like the real world use case of it. So I like that. Oh, here's all the stuff at the top. I thought it was rolling with me on the page. So the GitHub, Telegram, uh, Medium blog, Facebook, Bitcoin, talk.org, thread, poppin and Twitter. Okay. Okay. So that's it for this uh, ICO review. All the links and everything that you need, as usual, will be underneath the video. Remember, the token sale is going on right now. So you, if you've got some Ethereum sitting there, you can go ahead and jump into this thing right now. Support the project. Get behind it. Join their Telegram. Telegram is small. I think it's less than 1,000 people still, which I think is great because you'll be a, a seed, a core piece of the, you know, of the original community. Whereas a lot of these ICOs, uh, they have tens of thousands of users. Origami will get there. I, I like the fact of being able to be in the ground floor of the community like that. And a lot of what you'll be saying, a lot of the suggestions that you'll be giving them will actually be used with the rollout and what they're doing. And that I think is important. So again, it all fits in line, like get involved with projects that you're passionate about. Well, you'll be a part of the seed community here. Uh, you can get involved with the, you know, the Bitcoin org thread and really help get people excited about this and get people involved in this project and give your feedback to the people that are running the project. So if this is the first time that you're to the channel and you like what we're doing here, go ahead, take a second, please share some love. Just hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Anytime we go live, you'll get an email directly, let you know what's going on with us and be on the lookout for more videos hitting the channel very soon, my friends. See ya.